Let me start by asking a question, and this is one of those uh, God forbid kind of questions. If America utterly collapsed and shattered into fragments that could not be glued back together, uh, and you and your family were among the survivors, what would you encourage other survivors to build upon the ruins? Would it be what we currently have, uh, a nation founded on the principles of the Declaration of Independence and the government established by the Constitution? Would it be something else entirely? Uh, our answer matters because it goes to our understanding of what has been handed down to us by our founding fathers and how we feel about that original vision. And it goes to the very heart of the vision we have for what America will become. The answer to this question is also monumentally important because it is my contention that over a hundred years ago, another group of people began to look with disdain upon what our founding fathers had given to us and began to envision creating a new America. And we call those people secular progressives. Now it seems clear that we are witnessing the kind of divisiveness in America that has not been seen since the late 1960s. The political polarization, the racial anim animosity, the disrespect for the flag, um, uh, the violence on college campuses and in inner cities. When Pat Buchanan, addressing the Republican National Convention in 1992, famously labeled this divide as a culture war, he was ridiculed by the mainstream media and proclaimed uh, an element of the fringe in our country. Now no one doubts the accuracy of Pat Buchanan's assessment. Of course, much, much has changed since the 1960s or the 1990s when Buchanan was speaking. However, the hostility between the right and the left is white hot, and that has not changed. We might not be as badly divided as the America that fought on battlefields during the Civil War, but suddenly that no longer seems like an impossibility. Now, at its most fundamental level, this is not a war about mere cultural values or even public policies like abortion, same-sex marriage, uh, sex, those kinds of issues. At its heart, instead, this is a war, I believe, over the subject of God.